All right, guys, welcome to the Pinchy channel. I'm your host, the Pinchy, and today we're going to be talking about the things that I wish I would have known when I first started playing Digimon Masters. Let's get to it. All right, guys, first things first, the one thing that I wish I would have known back when I first started playing this game is the fact that your starter does not matter. This thing, you are going to get other Digimons that are going to be way stronger than this guy. Whether you pick this or Lalamon or Gaomon or Falcomon, it doesn't matter. Some people will argue that it's probably smarter for you to get a vaccine Digimon just because most of the Digimons that you have to fight are virus, so you'll have that advantage. But at the end of the day, it's not going to matter because you're going to change your starter immediately. So do not worry about this too much. Don't level up. Do not try to invest too much time or effort or money into your starter because eventually you're going to get rid of it. Talking about Digimon that are going to be actually useful, this is another thing that I wish that I would have known back then, and that is which Digimons you actually want to get right off the bat. And there are three, technically four Digimon that you really want to have. So let's take a look here. We have Salomon, the rookie. The reason why you want this is because we have Goatmon. So now Goatmon, I don't want to go too much into detail because I will make a video about how this works. But essentially, Goatmon is going to help you with bosses, whether you're super strong and you have all this decked out equipment or not. If you have a Goatmon, you're going to be useful for parties. The next Digimon that we're going to talk about is going to be the good old Impmon. And again, the reason why you want this, and I'll break it down in a different video, is going to be because we're going to make this a support. Supports you usually want to have multiple Digi-Evolutions. As you can see here, Impmon will have one, two, three, and four. We do not count the X factor because that's paid to win and it's really expensive. And I'm, I'm not really sure if this is even in the game anymore. But... The fact that you're able to have four Digi Evolutions will help you a lot with a support Digimon. And we'll talk about why that's important. But you have to get an Impmon. So you farm him. He's really easy to farm. And he'll be very useful, especially for, for Colosseum moving forward. And last but not least, your strongest free-to-play Digimon. This is going to be a very important part of it. You're going to need a Dorumon. And you're going to need a Ryudamon in order to make the good all alphamon or you can x this is going to be the best free to play digimon in the game he's so strong you can do a lot of the game including some end game content just by having this guy so understanding that you can get him a five out of five as opposed to the starter who is only a three out of five it is a huge differential and of course the good old alphamon or you can uh x is going to be super strong good for moving through uh, the story and and beating bosses and it's just such an important part of your account talking about the importance of the alpha monoryuken x we gotta also talk about how important it is to get through the story the story is going to be a very important part of the game i took it for granted i didn't know it was that important and then once i got to the point where i knew more about the game i had realized that i was missing so much by not moving through the story new maps means more experience means faster leveling means better equipment means better items more money everything and at the end of the whole entire story which takes a while but at the end of the story you'll get this title which is one of the best titles in the game so going through the story as much as possible is going to benefit you in the long run and i really wish that i knew that back when i first started digimon masters another thing that i really wish that i would have known back then is the fact of the importance of coliseum arena so very important that you guys try to do this on a daily basis uh we talk about how depending on what digimons you get you know uh, you might be able to do this for free if you have to pay um i still think it's worth it because the amount of things that you can get from arena are incredible let's take a look right here at the shop with mary right here it says there's a weekly there's a monthly a seasonal okay and just very important things that you can get from here. Even the weekly, you can get some equipment, some uh, clothes, Digimon evolutions, uh, in case you want to unlock certain things. There's Digi clones, backup this. Uh, and then for the monthly, you have things like fruits. There's um, memory capsules, which will help you with your support Digimon. You have things like eggs and more evolution slots, more Digi clones, hatch backups, and a bunch of other things that you can use, including the the newbies yellow soccer uniform, which is always 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 super good. But yeah, guys, so definitely another thing that I wish that I would have known back when I first started playing this game. It would have made my life so much easier to be able to have access to more items and more things by doing Coliseum. 
Another very important thing that I wish I would have known back then. Now, granted, what you see right here on the screen, this is Gankamon for the Gankamon training um, dungeon. And for this, it didn't exist back when I started playing the game, but absolutely necessary for nowadays. Um, but this is part of the idea of getting all the tickets that you might need for dungeons. Dungeons are very important. And even if you can't do them right away, um, it is very important that you start stacking up on tickets because eventually you'll be able to do them. And that's when you really want to take advantage of all the tickets that you've collected. Things like Holy Beast, things like Odaiba, you know, my Mon, all that stuff. It's very important for you to get those tickets every single day because eventually you're going to need them. Um, one of those things that I didn't really think about until it was too late. And because you only can get a couple every single day, uh, it is very important that you get them right away so that when you can do them, you're not asking, wow, I only have two tickets, so I can only do this two times. So you got to make sure that you have all the tickets. Guys, another thing that is very important is for you to understand cloning. Cloning is going to be a very important part of you getting stronger with your Digimon. And the most important thing here is going to be you got to learn how to do it perfectly. Cloning perfectly is the only way to go. The gap between just cloning and cloning perfectly is so big. If you do not do it perfectly, it is not going to have that much of use. So don't just clone just to clone. Don't clone Digimons that you're not going to use. Focus on the ones that you're going to be using the most and make sure that you do it perfectly so you can take advantage of cloning. Last but not least, guys, we're going to talk about the events. How important are events? As you can see here, we're running an event as we speak. Usually every two weeks, they'll rotate them out and they'll do different things. But I definitely underestimated the importance of events. Even right now, we have things that give you daily DG eggs, which this would be very great, uh, very useful um, to get those three, four Digimon that we talked about prior in this video. So very important that you log in, you do the events. Usually it doesn't take that long, about you know 10 minutes to complete. They're usually very easy. And it's just, it helps you exponentially with your account, with all the items that you get, hatch backups, maybe DG eggs, uh, seals, a bunch of different things that you can get from events. Definitely recommend that you do not take those for granted and you take advantage of events. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you will use this advice to, if you're starting off with Digimon Masters, to not make the same mistakes that I did when I first started playing. You know, I wish that I had that information back in the day when the game first came out, but it doesn't matter. This is for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns or opinions, about maybe other things that I really didn't say in this video, please put it down in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.